Have you ever missed a clear sky or have had a night of imaging cut short because your favorite weather app was wrong about the cloud cover? As an astrophotographer, this has definitely happened to me in the past. So today I want to share with you my favorite app for forecasting clear skies, as well as a very powerful and underutilized tool that I use all the time to forecast those clear nights. To better understand clear sky forecasting, let's look at some of the different sources of data we can use to determine where or where not clouds may be. There are many ways to gather weather data on the clouds, but three of the biggest sources I see come from our weather models, weather apps, and satellite imagery. Weather models take raw data and produce models in supercomputers to show what the weather could be in the future. They can run multiple times a day to show a raw, forecasted view of what's to come. Weather apps, on the other hand, take this raw data and process it into graphs, maps, and tables to give a visual and intuitive outlook. Because of this, some apps are more accurate than others just based on how they get, forecast, and display their data. Satellite imagery is the last and most different because it shows real-time data on cloud cover across the globe over the last few hours. This gives information on what's actually happening outside and not just forecast. With all the sources of data available to us as photographers, one really powerful tool I see not many people utilizing is called the Nighttime Microphysics Satellite. The Nighttime Microphysics Satellite is a multi-wavelength RGB product made from many different infrared bands. It can be used to differentiate clear skies from clouds, fog, rain, ground, and snow. Essentially, it uses different frequencies of light from satellites around the Earth to determine the types of clouds in our atmosphere. This makes it a fantastic tool for satellite imagery at night, where other satellite views don't help as much or can't resolve faint fog or high clouds. Hi everyone, I brought myself back inside because I want to show you how the nighttime microphysics satellite works and how you can use it to find clear skies. Okay, so one of my favorite websites to use to check the current satellite conditions is from the College of DuPage's Weather Lab. And from this homepage, you can go to their satellite and radar page to get a, a view like this. Now, I will note that this only this particular site only works with areas in the continental United States, but I will share another tool later for those viewers outside of the United States, uh, such as in Europe. Okay, so this current view of the satellite is the true color view of the United States. And as you can see, you can see clouds um, as well as snow and other, but to get to the nighttime microphysics tab, you can scroll down from this page where you can see nighttime microphysics in the RGB color products. And if we click that and if I scroll back to a time when it was night, now we can see this awesome tool in action. And to better explain what the, all these colors mean in the product, I want to point you to an awesome little guide from NOAA and NASA that kind of breaks down what all the colors mean. But in a quick short, uh, low clouds are usually in this green to aqua color, and fog can also be in this aqua color as well. When you start to get into these red colors, this is uh, really high clouds as well as large rain cloud structures. And if you scroll down from this page, you can see an even bigger breakdown of all the colors. But essentially, those reds to those greens are the main clouds we are concerned about and fog can be these other lighter uh, aqua colors as well. So back to our example here, this is the whole contiguous United States. And as we can see in the west here, we have plenty of high and thick clouds over here. And in the central to eastern United States, we have a lot of nothing. And what this orange to pink color is, that's your clear skies. So this is the goal of what we're trying to get here. Now you can see some low clouds scattered about, but in general, most of the United States, or the central United States for that matter, is pretty clear. Now as we drag the slider along, you can really see how these clouds are moving. And it just goes to show you how this area is indeed clear. Now one thing to mention with the nighttime microphysics is it doesn't work very well during the day. So you see if I drag this to the daytime, everything kind of becomes this pink and magenta and red color, and it's a lot harder to differentiate from clouds. 
but that's okay really because we have these other products such as the True Color wavelengths here and we also have just a visible wavelength such as the red channel here. Now one really important thing I want to mention is that other methods of nighttime satellite such as long wave infrared, which is a map that looks like this, can struggle a bit at nighttime, especially during the winter because snow can actually reflect these infrared and show up on the satellite view. It makes it really hard to distinguish from clouds. So you see if I move this slider, it's a lot harder to distinguish between clouds and no clouds on the nighttime because the snow really well reflects the infrared light. It's almost impossible to tell the difference. This is where the nighttime microphysics tab really shines because under the same conditions, it's really, really easy to spot where there are clear skies or not. Now for everyone watching this video that is outside of the United States, such as in Europe, there are other sources of the same infrared data you can get elsewhere. And one of those sites I found is called sat24.com. Uh, it's, it's the same type of website that shows the same information. And if you go to their satellite page, you can click on their nighttime, nighttime microphysics satellite. And this will pop up the same view as I was showing you earlier. And you can even click on individual countries and if you click on nighttime satellite, you can scroll through the past two hours or so, get the same data. One more thing I want to say about the nighttime microphysics satellite is it's a really good method to fact check to your other sources of weather data, such as your weather apps like Clear Outside and Astrospheric. Because we can click by sub-regional or regional or localized areas, and if you click on those areas, you can scroll through the past however many of hours and you can see how the clouds have been moving and you can compare that to what you're seeing on any other apps you're looking at the weather for. And even when you're in the now, you can see where the clouds have been moving in the past and extrapolate where they may go in the future. Overall, it's just a fantastic tool to use under those clear nights and especially when you're traveling in remote areas and may not know the weather as much. Although the nighttime microphysics satellite is a very powerful tool for finding clear skies, it's not the only source of data I use to plan for astrophotography. My favorite app for checking the weather before setting up is called Astrospheric. It's a dedicated astronomy app with lots of great information for astrophotographers. Okay, back on the computer here because I wanted to show you how I use Astrospheric to forecast for clear skies in the near future. Uh, I've just loaded up the main homepage here and just chose Chicago as an example because it looks like it's going to be clear tonight. Now on the astrospheric homepage, there's a map up here and there's also this timeline showing cloud cover as well as transparency and seeing data and temperature and dew points down here as well as wind. It's a really great all-in-one kind of astronomy weather app to use and it works great on desktop because you have all this information right here. Now one thing I want to show you guys is if you click the map here you can see this cloud cover map and this is actually from one of those weather models I showed earlier. This is the Canadian model right here and it shows what the clouds could look like in the near future as you drag the slider along. Now you don't have to upgrade to the pro version of Astrospheric but if you do, you can unlock these other ensemble models and other models you can use to compare to each other instead of going to the straight models themselves. I like how they show the forecasted cloud cover up here because you can later check it with the current satellite conditions to see if it's accurate or not. So let's do that. If we go back to the College of DuPage is satellite view. Here is Illinois right here and Chicago is about right here. This is earlier in the day, so this is the true color view. And as you can see, there are clouds to the east and the west of Chicago and a whole lot of snow in the middle. Now, if we turn on nighttime microphysics, this is the current view. And as you can see, here are those clouds in the east. Here are those clouds coming from the west. And in the middle where we had all that snow, it just registers as clear skies and you can't see anything. If we move this back a bit and forward, you can see those clouds moving. 
And right now, it is clear in Chicago, which is exactly what Astrospheric is saying, saying it's clear. Cloud cover of zero. Now, Astrospheric has some pretty awesome tools as well, such as their smoke, seeing, and transparency maps, which I won't go into too much detail in this video, but they're an awesome tool to have in this program right here. I really, really like Astrospheric because it shows this really awesome a few days in advance preview of what the cloud cover and sky could be using those weather models. And then when it becomes closer to your imaging session, you can obviously fact check that with the current satellite view to see if it's right and to make any last call judgments to if you want to set up or not. So with all this information on the nighttime microphysics satellite, what do I think it's actually good for? Well, for starters, I think it's a great tool for now casting, such as in the field when you want to see if clouds are currently impacting your session or if they're on the horizon. The enhanced satellite also helps you verify your forecasts, such as if you're on the go, such as aurora chasing or in a remote location, you can verify the forecast and see what might be coming for you. And just overall, the nighttime microphysics satellite is just a great tool to have in your arsenal and a great resource to utilize when it's necessary. Hi everyone, thank you for watching to the end of the video. I really hope you learned something about the nighttime microphysics satellite, and I really hope you can use this information in some way for your benefit. Anyway, this has been Noah signing off, and I'll see you in the next one. Clear skies!